The main mission of the MSK Cornell Center for Translation of Cancer Nanomedicines is to evolve a suite of ultra-small core shell silicon nanoparticles for a range of tasks, both diagnostic and therapeutic. We do this by the precision tailoring of the particle surface and controlling its size to be able to improve the biological properties of the platform and improve the therapeutic responsiveness in vivo. We aim to translate these particle probes for these different applications. This would go to the clinic and then move along a commercialization track. So with my partners at Cornell University, Uli Wiesner, and at Elucid Oncology, Gino Germano, we are advancing along several paths to move these platforms into patient care in the long run. What we did for the first time is to engineer particles that can both target the tumor, can deliver specific cargo to the tumor, and can signal to the outside where they are, all within a single particle. Special thing about these Cornell dots uh, is that they are really ultra, what we call ultra small. They're below in size the cutoff for renal clearance, basically a molecular size scale. This gave birth to this paradigm of target or clear. We either target the tumor or the particles get out, therefore reducing the off-target toxicity. This is a really, really important point. Uh, and, and we think that makes the technology really special. After having gone through multiple generations of particles, we now synthesize them in water. We do the synthesis in a style which we call one pot. We basically, over the years, learned how to add the different molecules that we want to combine on the particle in order to generate the final particle. So Memorial Sun Kettering has worked with Cornell for the past 14 years to really build this platform for a variety of applications. We are really the translational arm and the early clinical arm. What we typically do is we receive particles uh, from Cornell, and a lot of particle batches have been made at Cornell, and we screen the particles, select the lead candidate, and advance it for animal work. So we have moved to prepare these particles in a manner that can be injected into patients to validate what we've seen in our small animal models. The novel technology behind C dots, it fulfills an unmet need. Right now, there is no technology uh, that's available to the surgeon to be able to see an optical signal that's linked to cancer cells. We have been doing a first in human clinical trial using C dots in uh, head and neck melanomas for the past few years. So far, the results are pretty encouraging. You get a very, very strong signal intraoperatively, just as uh, the theory behind the platform is. By tailoring all of these properties, we would then be able to move this into clinical trials, and then move it along a commercialization track, which is where we are now. At this point in time, Elucida is uh, focused primarily on developing the platform as a delivery mechanism for, uh, for therapeutics. We have a lead compound uh, that's a folate receptor alpha uh, targeted CDOT drug conjugate. And um, we've seen some promising evidence so far in uh, preclinical studies uh, that we may have some pretty significant advantages over the standard of care, so we're very excited about that. I was a PhD student in Professor Uli Wiesner's group at Cornell University, the Department of Material Science. Um, and uh, since 2009, I've been working on the platform at John Elusta because we really think this platform has a lot of potential to really make a big dent in the field of uh, drug development as a cancer treatment and also be promising to potentially help a lot of uh, cancer patients and uh, improve their life. The center has evolved a number of, of probes for various applications, and I see the future as linking this technology and partnering with other technologies. I think the CDOT platform represents the, really, I think the next frontier in targeted drug delivery, in cancer therapy. I think we've come a long way. There are so many exciting new directions that we're gonna be busy for the next decade for sure.